Hi guys! So, do you like my hair and my and my makeup? Well, if you do, that's a good thing because today I'm going to show you how to do this hair and this makeup. I um, feel like it's pretty okay. I'm actually pretty happy with it. I haven't been happy with my hair and makeup in a long time, but today I actually am. And I'm going to show you how to do this from scratch from like no makeup and no extensions or anything and because my boyfriend is going to have a party well not a party we're just going to like invite a few people over and have some fun together and then I'm just going to wear my hair and makeup like this stay tuned and watch this tutorial thingy oh my naked face so this is my face and my hair naturally. I haven't even brushed my hair. This is just how I woke up. So first off, I'm going to start with my face first because that's just what I do. I pin back my hair like that. Look like a ghost. But okay, if you hear some music in the background, it's just because uh, we're going to have people over afterwards and then my boyfriend is playing music because I'm at his house today. So the first thing I'm going to use is my foundation, which is dirty, <laughs> sorry, is the Max Factor uh, Face Finity All Day Flawless 3-in-1 Foundation. So I use this sponge and put some foundation on and just put it on my face. And even though I have a big mirror up there, I have to let go this close to uh, use it so that I'm uh, going to use my small mirror for like stuff like this. Okay. So now I'm just going to do my eye lids and then keep on with the foundation after I've done my uh, what? Done my eyeshadow. like that and then the other one and here i just use a little tiny bit you can't even see it on the camera yes there it is just a tiny bit of foundation on my eyelids and on my under eye area as well so i think i'm gonna use a little bit of my concealer i just use a really cheap concealer from h&m which is this one the lightest color that i they have because i have to use the lightest color because i'm pale Then, then I'm using my finger, making sure that it's clean, and then I'm just smudging it out. And then the other side. And I feel like it's really important to put it all the way up, not into the waterline, but like all the way up to your eyes. Here. There you go. Just pat that on. Off to the eyeshadows. And today I'm going to use a brown shadows. I'm going to start with the brown, which is this color here. And if you wonder which palette this is, this is just a, a normal eyeshadow palette from H&M. So I'm just taking a little bit of that dark eyeshadow. I pat it on into my crease and over my crease, not under it. And go halfway like that. And then the other side, do the same thing. This side always gets ugly. And then I just fill in where I think it needs to be filled in. Then I always use like the same brush, so I just take off the excess on a makeup wipe and then just do this on my hand so it dries a little bit because you don't want water in your eyeshadows. I guess I'll do the bright color. Um, the bright color, I, all, I love that color, so it's almost used up, but it's this color right here. And 
when that's done, you are going to take a kind of this color here. The color doesn't really show off at the camera, but it's kind of like a, a skin tone color, but a little bit more pink, so it's kind of peachy. I think it's the color between the brown one and the bright pink one, so I'm going to use that. And for that, I'm going to use this brush, which is just a round brush, and I'm going to put that here. Uh, but now I'm going to do the under eye area and for the under eye because I only want like pretty thin lines I'm going to use the angle brush that I own and I'm going to do the same darkest brown color underneath my eye and stop it like on the middle Like that. And what I do that is really wrong is I do, when I put on my eyeshadow, I do like this. So that's what I think it's going to look. But when I do like this, put my eyebrows down, that is what it's going to look. So I have to like fix that. Do you see the difference? I always do these panda eyes. There you go. And then I'm going to blend it. And I don't I don't have a real blending brush, so I'm just using this square brush, but it's kind of like a little bit fluffy. And then I just blend it and make sure that it doesn't go like a lot over where I already made my eyeshadow go. So I just start in small sections and work my way. You see that? It's already pretty blended, but not. You see the difference? This one is way better. And then do the other side. Then I'm going to go in again into the light color because I want that to be like really bright and just pat on some of the light color. The lightest pink. Pat that on. And then go in with this round brush again with the same bright color and put it underneath my eye here. And into the corner. I know I said this a lot of times before, but if you keep the dark colors on the outer side of the eye, like here you can see I have dark here and here, but I have light here. Then your eyes will look way bigger and you will look so awake and that just looks better. At least I think it looks better. It looks better. Now I'm done with the eyeshadow uh, and I'm going to... Uh, continue with my foundation with the same foundation and the same brush as I did but just continue on the other side and then just make sure that you don't ruin your eyeshadow and just take so don't take like your uh, foundation over the eyeshadow because then you will ruin it and I know you're not supposed to like put foundation down here but because I can never find a foundation that fits to my color uh, I have to drag it down so the like the difference between my face and my chin or my um, neck and the rest of my body won't be that big and now I'm going to do my powder just use this brush, dump it in the powder and pat it on first, you pat it on and then you do circle motions to like get it deep into your face. 
had it on. And circular motions. I know I use way too much powder, but. And now I'm going over to my blush. But I'm using this brush here, as you can see. It's not a blush brush, but I don't care. Dump it in there. I use way too much blush. I use way too much everything. Smile and pat it onto your cheek. And then circle motion and drag it up. Pat it on. Circular motion and drag it up. Do this pretty soft. And then you blend it out with your blush. No, with your powder. And then the blush is done. The eyeliner, which is just this deep liner from H&M again. And then I'm just going to do it all over the top lash line. And then I'm going to do the bottom lash lines and again use dark colors to the middle of your eye and not totally in because then you're going to look more awake and if especially if you're going to like party and stuff you're going to look drunk and then your eyes will go like this and then it's you tr uh, you truly need some eye opening serum thingy And now we're go and now we're going to connect the two lines that you already made and make a flick. And then you have to do the other side as well. And now I'm just going to do my eyebrows. I just use this normal eyebrow pen which has a brush on the lid. And just remember eyebrows are not twins, they're sisters so they doesn't have to be alike. Okay, my eyebrows look so stupid now. Now to my mascara, I just use this mascara here. It's the Maybelline New York Illegal Length. Some of my eyes, uh, eyelashes on this side is just going crazy. And then when you have done one coat, just let them dry for a few seconds and then just start all over again. But now I'm just doing this eyeshadow, whoop, this eyeshadow here, which is called Viva La Diva. Uh, in the color is 309 white, no, 390 white, just using the same brush here. And I'm using this to highlight my eyebrow bone, 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 just pat it on gently on both sides. And I, I know this is wrong, but I sometimes use this as like a uh, highlighter on the rest of my face. I'm just going to do my cheekbones. And then a little bit down my nose. That's 
my face and then I'm going to jump over to my hair you have to see my makeup bag it's so cute it's just a Hello Kitty and it's see through uh, and it says Hello Kitty there and they have a little Hello Kitty and it's got zebra stripes I got it from my boyfriend First I'm going to need my straightening iron. Well, this one is not mine because mine broke, so I borrowed this from my friend Renata. And then I just brush through my hair with my Hello Kitty brush, which is quite hairy now, actually. Then I'm going to do this and just straighten my hair. And I don't really have an order to how I straight my hair. I just go through where I can see it needs to be. Go through. Because my hair doesn't get that curly. You can see it has like, it does bend. But it doesn't get like really curly. I think that's okay for that side. Now we can't really see the difference because my boyfriend always say I can't see the difference but here you can see it's so silky straight and on this side it's not. And don't forget the back because then you're going to look stupid. So I use extensions as you probably know. These are my extensions. So these are the first one. These are the smallest ones that I put at the bottom. So now I am putting up my extensions. Well, not my extensions, my hair like this in sections. This is the first section. And then I pin it up. Then I take my comb and then just back comb it or tease it or whatever you like to call it like that and then I take my extensions and I put them in just try to make them as close to my roots as I can but sometimes it's not, it's not that easy like that and the next section I type, take right above my ears and just try to make a straight line. Then I use two more clips, this one and this one, and this one got bent because I put my straightening iron on it and then it melted and got uh, this strange form. It was supposed to be like this, but it's not. And here you can really see the roots. Oh my god, they're bad. And first I'm brushing it out and when I brush it I use my tangle teaser because that is more gentle to the hair than a normal hair brush is. So this one doesn't drag out that much hair but it still brushes it and gets the job done. And I also use this when I tease my extensions uh, because it's more gentle to the hair than a normal than a normal uh, brushes or a comb. Then you do the same thing. So just make sure that you put it a little bit back. Doesn't have to be a very much, maybe two centimeters, an inch. An inch, isn't that like almost three centimeters or something? I don't know. Then, like that. <laughs> so cute I'm so cute stupid I'll just keep doing my hair no put it there what are you doing I'm doing doing stuff what the fuck I'm doing doing stuff and then you just keep on doing whatever you did before yeah 
You can do that also if you want to, but then you have to have a little bit shorter here than I do. It's like dynamite. Yeah. Should I wear a shirt? My love. She cut my hair. My cut is here. It's so cute now. I just put them a little bit longer back in my head just so it won't show that well. As you can see, it doesn't show that well. But if it was like on the front here, then you can see like a really big black blob in my hair. And that's not pretty. So I just put them a little bit back. Hey, shit nut. It's probably time. And now to the last piece. This is the last piece. It's really bad when it's not brushed through, but we're going to do something about that. It looks better already. But I also have to straighten it. And because this is the top part, this is the part where I get more hairspray. And as you can see, I don't put hairspray into my hair underneath, uh, where I like tease my hair underneath. Uh, I know many people do that, but because my hair is so uh, dry and so damaged, uh, first of all, I don't want to do that to my hair. Because even though I don't care that much about the health of my hair, uh, I do care a little bit, uh, so I don't want to do that, but either way, my hair is so damaged and dry that it holds everything, so I don't need to do it. And then I'm done with my extensions. And because I put the clips in, the clips sometimes make marks into my hair. Uh, where they have been, you know what I mean? And then I just straighten it because the top part of my hair is the most important part that is straight. Yes, you can have your hair like that. I think you're pretty. Anyway. I think I look bitchy. Well, you're my bitch. <laughs> so now I'm just put all the hair back. Does it look natural? I don't think it does, but you can pretend. And then you just take a section of hair from this side and put it in the front and do the same on this side. So this is the part that is going to be the front and this is the part that is going to be in the back. Okay, so now we're going to tease the fuck out of our hair, okay? I try to tease it or backcomb it from like the under of the ear here. This is my parting, so I don't tease on this side, but tease on this side, if you know what I mean. Just tease the fuck out of it so it goes like that. And then keep doing it. When you have done like this section and this section, Take them both in one hand and tease them together because of, or else you're going to get a gap in here when you brush it down again and that will look bad. But tease and tease and tease and tease and make it huge. I think it's really fun to tease my hair because I look so fun afterwards. I look, I look fun. And don't forget to do your bangs. And now we are going to look like you have some kind of dis some kind of disease or something up inside your hair and now you need your teasing comb because I'm going to tease my extensions don't hate on me because of it I know it's not like you're not supposed to do that but I don't care I do it because I want my extensions to be fluffy 
So I just tease my hair, my extensions, first on the top. But then I get these like strange things on here. So I take like a new section and tease it underneath. And take a new section and tease it underneath. And then I brush some of it out with my fingers. You see? It, may, it makes a huge, huge difference. And now I'm going to do the sides, no, the back of my hair. As you can see, that's pretty flat. And this part does never, never gets as teased as I want to. But okay. <laughs> And now my hair is just a big, huge piece of mess. But you know what? Now we're going to brush it down. Use the tangle teaser because that only take like the top layer of the hair, not like every all the hair, and just brush brush through a little bit to make it smoother. And on the back as well. Like that, and for doing your hair in the back, you're going to need two mirrors. The first one is going to be the mirror on the wall, and the second one is this one. Because when I do like this, turn me around, I can don't I can't see the mirror. But if I do like this, I can see the mirror in the back. As you can see my face right now, I can see my hair in the back. Okay. <laughs> so now I'm just going to brush down my hair but I want it to be big and I want it to look a little bit messy so I don't want to make it perfect uh, I usually want my hair to be silky straight well not silky straight but silky perfect silky perfect is not a word but I want my hair always to be so perfect that it's not even possible so I have to like Take a step back and just breathe, breathe. It's going to be okay, it's going to be okay. I will survive even though my hair is not totally, totally perfect. Because hair is going to be where it wants to be. Not where I want it to be. So that's it. Now, I'm actually really happy with my hair today. That's really strange. Um, and then I just place my bangs where I want them, something like that. And then I use my hairspray. This is my favorite hairspray of all time. I've used it for so many years because I could never find a hairspray that I wanted. Uh, but then I found this, which is Proof's hairspray, super strong hairspray, and it's the big size. And this is about 50 crowners on H&M and it's like 52, 52 crowners on other stores so it's not really that big of a deal. But I'm just going to spray my hair on the top and then my bangs and just do like this and then put your bangs a little bit to the side because then it's going to hold way better if you just touch it a little bit and then do this side. And I usually just stroke my hand over it, but really, really lightly, because if you're going to like, press it down, it will make a mark, because it takes a little bit of time to dry. And then just go crazy with it. I use way too much hairspray, I know that, but... I'm pretty happy with my look today, actually. I actually feel like it's pretty. So this is how the today's look turned out. We're going to have a party at Ul Martin's house, as I said, so... 
This is how I'm going to look. But first, I am going to change my clothes. So this is today's totally finished look. it Woo! okay so and uh, I'm also going to wear uh, my awesome shoes my Jeffrey Campbell shadow studs it's really awesome it's a bit too small but I don't care I'm going to use them anyway so uh, I have done a tutorial, not, not a tutorial, I've done a tutorial on how to make these shoes. No, uh, I've done a review on these shoes, uh, a shoe unboxing, which I'm going to be linking down below so you can see it if you want to. That would be nice. And I guess that was all for today and see you guys in another video. Bye guys, love you. Bye.